Well, human rights campaigners in Tamil Nadu are planning to move the Supreme Court challenging the acquittal of Chinna Swami, the man who had allegedly ordered the killing of his son-in-law Shankar four years ago after he married his daughter. And in fact, uh, the Madras High Court yesterday had set aside the death sentence on him and acquitted him. And the death sentence on five other convicts have also been commuted to life imprisonment for 25 years. In fact, uh, the murder happened four years ago. Uh, Shankar, someone from a scheduled caste, had married Kausalya, Chinnaswami's daughter, who come from the powerful Tevar community. And the family did not approve it. And four years ago, when this couple was happily talking and walking at Udumalpet in Tirupur district, a gang attacked them and uh, Shankar was hacked to death. The whole thing was caught on camera, which shook the entire country. Kausalya survived and uh, now activists say this will send a wrong signal to perpetrators of dishonor killing. And this is what uh, Henry Tefain, the director of the People's Watch Human Rights Group, had to say. This is definitely something which is shocking because he is the one who had engaged the, the gang to get engaged in the honor killing, per se. The verdict also sends a wrong message to such brutal killers on the basis of caste. And therefore, this is a judgment that has to definitely be appealed against. And while we are not here to ask for the hanging of the accused, we are definitely here to ensure that those who are behind engaging the killers continue to be behind bars and that the Supreme Court would automatically stay the order and bring justice to this issue. Well, Kausalya says this is not justice. This is not justice for the blood of Shankar. And she says she would move the Supreme Court. And she also alleges that the prosecution did not update her regularly on the court proceedings uh, at the Madras High Court, unlike what happened at the lower court earlier. And they both got married in 2015 as they were studying engineering. The next year, eight months after their marriage, the attack happened and she lost Shankar. Now, of course, Kausalya is remarried. But that's all from Tamil Nadu.